It is Saturday, April 27th, and we are in Columbia because my brother is getting drafted to the NFL. Hello. To the whole NFL draft special, Corey Miller here with you. Now, when you look for like the diamond in the rough, we like to look right here in South Carolina, especially in the Midlands, to find somebody that may have an outside shot and go to that big door of the NFL. Well, we found one. Vincent Smith played high school football at Whitewood, finished up at Westwood, went to college at Limestone College, and he lit it up. And then a few weeks ago at Pro Day at the University of South Carolina, he only ran like a 4-3-8. And while wow, every scout, every coach, and every general manager showed up. My man Mr. Smith told me right now, man, good to see you, brother. What's up, man? You put some big numbers up. Uh, my wife's told me incredible catches you can see right here. A 4-3-6-40, but the vert was good. Uh, I mean, everybody came out of that, even Coach Mustang, but raving about your workout. Uh, I mean, what was that like, catching the passes and just got all these eyes and people talking on their phones and recording? Uh, I mean, you got to be like, wow, I'm finally here. Finally, is there one team? If you said, hey, if the good Lord smiled on me and said, hey, I'm, I'm going to send you there, what team would, what team does this is fit for? Man, that, that's a hard, it's a hard decision. Uh, it, it's a, there's a couple of teams out there I, I'd like to play for. I'd say a couple of teams in the state of Texas. Um, I prefer the first one would be someone warm, but I've heard a lot of things from the East Coast and from the North, so anywhere, I'll be happy, honestly. Yeah. Team, from the offensive side, still could get another offensive line, but those are some of the spots. How about a runner? Yeah. I am Vernon Smith, the father of Vincent Smith. Waiting for his name to be called feels like a lot of anxiety has built up. Um, I just want that call. I want to be able to enjoy, well, I will be able to enjoy that moment, but I, I just want that call to come as soon as possible. The kind of emotions I've been feeling are a lot of joy, happiness, um, a lot of uh, um, un unsure of what is to happen, what is going to go on, how it's going to play out. Uh, up until this moment, um, just uh, feeling really, really blessed. Uh, to be in this moment. Pins and needles, sitting on pins and needles. I don't know how to act. Yeah, of course, I've never been here. Um, just the waiting, wondering who, where would, what team would he go to. Um, but the most important thing to me is I just want to see his dream fulfilled. I want to see him happy as with all my children. And, um, and I'm so proud, and this is a one in a lifetime event. And I just want to see him get the best. Uh, first of all, coming out of high school, not being, um, not being a star player, I mean, having any stars behind his name as far as colleges and universities were concerned. Um, taking him to and from different camps to try to get him his name out there, try to get him out there. Um, just not knowing what to do and not having hardly anyone to give me any guidance on it. But um, thank God for people to come into our lives and I learned it's all by connection. One of this is greatest mischievous moments was crawling out of Vanessa's window while we were living in New York and sitting on the roof. Someone informed me that my child was on the roof. <laughs> it was missing. I believe someone came and knocked on the door, a neighbor, and said, um, I just wanted to inform you that um, there's a child on your roof. And I said, what? And uh, I didn't go outside to look, but I went upstairs and I knew the only way for a child to get on the roof was through Vanessa's window. So I think initially I thought maybe it was Vanessa, but it was Vincent. 
So what happened when you saw him on the roof? Um, I told him to get off of the roof. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the single hardest thing I went through going through being his father was a couple of years ago when I had to tell I had to pull him out of college for a semester because I could not pay um, the fees uh, for him to go, the monthly payment. To me that was the hardest thing because it made me feel like I failed as a father. The fees were almost a thousand dollars nine hundred plus dollars a month. And you know um, had to provide for my family, you know, we, we paid that, uh, you know, um, you know, faithfully every month, but it was just very, very hard, and um, I just couldn't do it anymore, because um, I still had a family that I had to feed, I had other, you know, he had siblings that needed to be provided for as well, so it was, it, it, it was, it was, a, it was a struggle. Um, the answer, the, um, when Vincent was not in school for that time, uh, so during that time, Vincent, he just worked. And he kept his cool, but I could tell from time to time that you know he was giving to him, and I did not want his dream to end. But thank God, um, he did get a call from an interim, which was close call that April two years ago, and talked to me and asked if he could come back. So that was a saving grace. Um, when this was four months old, um, I would usually be up. Uh, this is when we live in Germany. I would be up from 11 o'clock to 2 o'clock and Vincent woke up probably about 1 o'clock and at that time, um, you know, we only had one channel over in Germany, that's AFN, um, Forces Network, and uh, the football games would play at that time because we were six hours ahead. So he woke up and he would always want to be entertained and I told him, I said, I am not in the entertainment business. You are going to sit here and watch this game. So I sat him between my legs, pointed at the TV, and I said, study. And a Cowboys and I think Atlanta Falcons game was on. And I said, study, because you will be there one day. And he sat there with his little head, Bobby, and he watched the game. So fast forward. Um, now he's about to enter into the NFL. Someone, I think it was a old coach, an older coach, said that um, not only was he a great player, but he was a student of the game. And you like to take credit for that? All. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I want him to play for a team that is going to be a great fit for him. Um, I'm a big Cowboy fan, but I just want what's best for him. So, is there any particular team you want him to go to? Um, it really doesn't matter. But you know, <laughs> being a Cowboys fan, I would love to see him go to Dallas Cowboys. But just wherever he will fit, um, wherever he will be able to show his talent and be an excellent team player. called Stump the Truck during the draft um, while they're going through the last few picks in round seven and they asked for names of players from small schools that people that they want to test and see if they have the footage for so a lot of people tweeted in Vincent's name nobody from our house funny enough but a lot of people tweeted in Vincent's name and they had his footage and they put it on the screen and mom fell out on the floor <laughs> Okay, we got a tweet on the stuff the truck. Look at what else we got. Nice. Uh, wow. <laughs> you okay, Grandma? Yeah. 
they said he, they were, he, people have been lighting up his Twitter with yeah. his name. Oh, oh we got him both sides, both oh. sides of the field. <laughs> Did y'all record that? You are not. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Coach Perry? Yes, sir. Everybody's excited. We're all on board. Yes, sir. Completely. It, it feels right. It, it feels like the right choice. It feels like the best place to, to build myself. Yes, sir. It's starting the 11th and the 10th. 10th and 11th. I'll talk to you too, Coach. <laughs> Uh, who is that, Vince? Uh, coach John Perry from Houston, Texas. Receiver coach. Okay. Uh, what was that call about? Uh, signing there. Go on there. When are you leaving? Uh, leaving the 10th. Very nice. How do you feel? Feels good. I mean, feels like feel like the best place since I've been there. Feels right. So. Next up, going to Houston. Hey, Vic. No, no. Hey. Here's the family. Hey, Vic. So, doing just fine. Would you like to know what the results were? <laughs> okay, I'll let Vincent tell you. <laughs> well, I'm gonna be in Texas with you. Oh. Yep. He didn't even know. He was in Houston. Huh? He <laughs> said, so I know that's right. Well, I taught you everything you knew. Go ahead, use that. Um, be great as I am. One day, you might be able to, you know. Which do is what bad. I do. <laughs> Greatness, travel to different countries, play your games in London. I'm going to be there, hopefully. Uh, yeah, come see me in El Paso. And Vincent says, Okie dokie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got to go to Party City and get stuff for the party tomorrow, but I'll Skype you in at the party. How do you feel? How do you feel? Like, is it surreal? Is it, you know, are you, 
You can't feel a little tiny, anything like that, a little jitter or something. Like, pinch me, make sure I'm not. I feel like. I don't know. It's hard to say. I, I don't think it's hit me quite yet. But, you, but you've been working hard for it, so it's, 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 it's coming along. I feel like I see the next step. That's what it is. I'm excited for you. We really. Are. It's a blessing to see your kids succeed and do great things, um, especially making it to the NFL. Only two or three percent of people make it each year. So, for my, you know, it, it just it it just makes me feel proud to have a son to be able to do this. I feel like it takes take a village to raise a child and um, to help mold and develop players. I look around the room, I'm pretty sure pretty much everybody's room played a role in the events and accomplishments he's made over the past couple of years. So. It is just um, beyond words. Um, Vincent has been a young man that I can tell you that since he was a toddler, has always been driven to do something. His spirit, his character, stand for him, and it precedes him wherever he goes. And wherever he goes, it leaves that message that he is a humble, grateful young man. And I think that will take him every week. Because he had perseverance. 
<laughs> nah, but I was doing everything that you done. And I was really proud of him. You know, some people may see that it may look like I'm not excited, but I've been there with him the whole time. You know, I talk with him, and you know, all my time he goes in whenever I'm talking to him. But I just want to do one thing here. I know we were doing this fight. <laughs> but this one is all, this all, all started, you know. Uh, Pablo and me, you know, it, it, that's what starts at. And uh, he passed this on to my grandson. So, uh, they just don't worry, man. We want to uh, talk with you before we leave. We're going we're gonna to send another one to there. wearing this cowboy shirt to the interview. She looks beautiful. That was fake. What do you, how do you really feel? I feel like she looks beautiful. <laughs> Mom, how does dad feel about you wearing this? He's jealous. No, I'm not. Because now he wish he had worn No, I don't wish. I have my yes. own. I have my own. I didn't want to wear it. I want to wear something neutral. <laughs> 